Today I'm going to show you how to make a nice shiny barbed wire entanglement. These entanglements I'm making for bolt action, although I did do a, a shed load of these for 40k, but I did those on snow. So these ones are on sort of mud with a bit of grass, which is a bit different. They're quite simple, basically wooden sticks at the back holding the barbed wire up and you wrap the barbed wire around the back and then you put coils of barbed wire in the front and it does have quite a pleasing effect. Uh, this is basically the standard style of barbed wire used from the First World War right through to the modern day, really. And now I'm going to show you how to put it together. What you will need is some wood, some wooden sticks, some mesh, and I'm there, and, and some wire. Some wire, which has turned into a slinky. There you go. And we're going to show you how to get this huge pile of junk and turn it into that. What we will do to start with is move the... Move the slinky and start with this. I'll just put a dollop of glue on here and show you how this goes in. It's not brain surgery, it's actually quite simple even when you drop the stuff all over the floor. You just get these and shove them in the hole. That's actually how easy it is. You may want to paint the wood. It's entirely up to you if you do. I usually paint it usually a uh, sort of spear shaft colour, freshly cut wood, put into a nice defence. And I find that the best way of doing it. Um, after that, you then put some base takes or gravel or whatever it is you're using to using as the base of your battlefield. It's always best to have your barbed wire and stuff on something which will look more or less the same as your battlefield, otherwise it might look silly. So if you've got barbed wire mounted on concrete, it might look silly in the middle of a field. Not that I've got anything against concrete or fields. Now I'm going to show you the easiest way of making wire itself. Just get one of these, they, you can pick them up from any car shop or hardware store. It's basically the, the stuff you put on your car to make it nice and smooth when you've got a hole in it. Apparently, I've never actually done that, I always get a guy to fix it for me. And there you go, there's the wire. You can actually make the barbed wire the coils of barbed wire out of this, although if someone leans on it or something drops on it, it tends to go flat and you'll never be able to repair it. So I use the other wire for the main wire, uh, the coiled wire. And all you do is this is just link it around like that, and then you go up and down. And I'll show you that better when all of this has been done. The coiled wire is a different matter. I'll just get some coiled wire out and show you how this works. You should have already worked all this stuff out during your modelling career, but if you haven't, I'm just giving you an idea. Just get a pen, I'm using my marker. Coil the wire around it. And you have yourself barbed wire. If you use slightly thicker wire, I used to do this for my 40k stuff all the time. There you go, barbed wire, instant. If you use thicker wire than this, you can actually coil this stuff around the thicker wire. It doesn't work on the thin wire. And then you can coil that wire and it looks really, really good. Although for these, I'm using these for my bolt action stuff, it just would it really be worth my time investing all the time and effort into doing that because it would mean I'd have less time to do other things because I'm making quite a lot of barbed wire for this game. And now I'll show you what it looks like all painted up. I've now placed the base text on the actual base. Um, you can see I've made it all squidgy around and do it any way you like. Um, I used to put gravel on it and then dry brush the gravel. Uh, but for this particular project, I'm using base text. Uh, I made the base text myself by simply mixing in paint and glue with gravel. It's actually quite easy to make. And there you go. And then you paint over it and you have that. 
which is a fully flocked version with all the nice pattern and everything and now you can actually stick on the wire. So now I'm going to put on the barbed wire which should be easy enough to do. Put a little bit of glue on each of the wooden sticks and it's probably best at both sides. You get it on both sides and that enables it to enables the barbed wire to stay in one exact place. You can actually put it on afterwards, I'm just doing it this way because it's easier to do it for the video. And then you get your wire. And you just put it on oops, like this. Tie it off on each corner. Just like that. And you see it matches with the glue so it will hold it all in place when you're finished. Put the second one on. And you get the idea of how it goes together. Like that. Just fasten it in there, just put a little bit of glue on just to hold it. I'm using wood glue for this because it's uh, PVA wood glue. Because it sets nice and solid and it goes transparent. So even though you've already painted it, you won't actually see the glue on it at the end. There we go. Just redo that bit because it's a little bit loose. Just use that bit up there. And then I'll just put one down the centre of each line. Bingo! And that is the barbed wire attached and done. And now all you need is to, to put the coils in the centre, uh, in the front, sorry. So just get a nice roll of barbed wire, or wire. This is thinner wire than the other wire and get one that's going to fit just right, like that one's going to fit, and just glue it like so, and place it on. The glue will only attach in a few places, and that is all you need to do it anyway. And here's another bit which will go on the end, like that. And all you need to do is wait for it to set, and you will eventually have one that looks like that. That's how easy it is to do. Instant barbed wire field. It takes about three minutes to put together and you have yourself some awesome barbed wire to cover in your battlefield in and a lot more fun games to come. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please click subscribe and leave any comments in the comments bar and that's about it. Thank you from me.